is Lessa Zimmers uh, with the Runaway Teen Challenge. Um, I don't know what episode this is. I want to say uh, 11? 12 maybe? Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't going to record for a little while because I've had to do some some fabulous changes to the game. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I have sounds enabled, but not the music, because I don't want my video to get, uh, I don't want my video to get, um, marked for something when I try to monetize it, so, um, anyway, uh, as you can see, she's going to investigate some, uh, mysterious anomaly, so I'm assuming that she's going to get abducted by aliens again. Um, but you might notice that her house is in a different area of town. Now, the reason why is because, um... Well, to be perfectly honest, I, when I downloaded Neverglade, I did not realize that it was not populated. Um, so, uh, instead of trying to figure out how to populate it without putting a ton of um, a ton of Sims that I made and or download uh, into the world, I decided to look for a populated Neverglade, and I found one. It happens to have a ton of people. Whoa, craziness. Um, anyway, uh, so I was just trying to get back to, I turned off aging briefly, um, in fact, I think that it is still off, however, since it is the day after, uh, spooky day, um, I think that it is safe to turn it back on. I wanted to get, I wanted to get, I wanted to get the, the city and I wanted to change the season, um, I, I wanted to get everything back to the way that it was before I had to switch towns. So, um, alright, so let's just go and find out what this hubbub is all about. Um, I am very sorry if my system is lagging, um, but for this episode I, uh, already had a fraps, uh, open, so I decided to see if I could record, uh, with Fraps, um, and it's already proving to be laggy, so, um, anyway, let's, let's watch her get abducted by aliens, shall we? She's gonna end up getting pregnant, I just know it. Oh, here we go. She needs to sleep, too. So, I've turned aging back on. Um, and she is ten days old. And while she is abducted again... For the second time in a row. Well, not in a row, because it's been a few days. Um. Oh! She just got run over by a car. Isn't that fabulous? Are you gonna get abducted or not? Sorry, I just... I need to get a screenshot of that because look at her face. She is freaked out. So let's see if I can 
if I could do this. Zoom in. She's like, oh, please do not take me away again. Okay, let's get on with the show. <laughs> oh, here she goes. Oh, she's trying to run, but it just ain't working. And there she goes. Fabulous. Oh! Loud rain! Loud rain! Loud, loud rain. Oh, well, that didn't take very long. She's back. Alright, I just need to... I need to zoom out a little bit. Okay. Alright, here we go. It's still loud, but... Let's see, where are you? Where is she? Wow, this is taking forever. Well, it may be because... Where are you? Lag. Lag. So much lag. See, it's only doing like two two frames per second. It's not very good. Oh, here we go. She's back. Wow, that was like an hour. All right, let's take a look at her. She is not happy. Look at her. Not happy with the alien. And this is... Who is that? Quizel... Quizel... Thobanob? Quizel Thobanob. Um, I have made her a few friends. Uh, oh no, it looks like Chastity was abducted by an alien. Hopefully they were friendly. And she's got this moonlit over here. Chastity can't help but feel a little probed. What happened up there from alien abduction? Alright, so um, as you will notice um, you'll see family members for uh, Chastity, and they are the powers. What Amelia has done is she's gone to City Hall, and she has explained to them that, oh, he is a boy. Is that a teenager? You introduce yourself. Um. Anyway, Ami Amelia and uh, Anthony have gone to City Hall, and they have um, said they have explained to them that um, that they gave 
chastity uh, for adoption when she was very young. Um, they were just young adults when chastity was born, and basically, um, so they wanted to make it right. Um, chastity doesn't have any idea that this has happened, though. Um, so, as you can tell, uh, Amelia is her mother, um, Anthony is her father, and then you have Brenton, who is his, who is her brother, and you have, uh, Destiny, who is her sister. Um, now, according to this, uh, Destiny is artistic, loves the heat, and a slob. Uh, and she's a Libra. And Brenton is athletic and excitable, and he's also a Libra. Anthony is, uh, is a lab tech at, in the science career. He is a Taurus. He's married to Amelia, and he's handy, a bookworm, a perfectionist, a computer whiz, and, oh, what was the other one? Loves the heat. Uh, and Amelia is charismatic, artistic, family-oriented, brave, and neat. Now, if you take a look at her, at Destiny's, or, I'm sorry, Chastity's, uh, uh, she, she shares bookworm with her father and neat with her mother. Um, so, I, th I think that's the way that it works. Yeah, bookworm and neat. Um, at any rate, so, um, it has been about 15 minutes so far, so I am just going to, um, pause here, well, not pause here, but, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna end this episode here, and I am going to catch you in episode 12 or 11 or 13 or I don't know what episode um, after she has woken up um, and I have taken a few uh, a few pose player shots with with chastity um, but anyway as you can see she is, she, she knows four teenagers. She knows, uh, Michael Bachelor, who is a paper boy and in the entrepreneurial training school. Um, he's athletic, friendly, and a schmoozer. Uh, he, she knows Brant Summer. He's charismatic, a snob, and inappropriate. He goes to high school. She knows Bailey Swan, sort of. And she knows Ivy Dewhurst. Um, she is blindingly attractive, attracted to Michael Blatch, Bachelor. And she ranks uh, Brant Sumner as a 7 out of 10. So I think that she wants to cozy up to Michael bachelor a bit more um, um so we're gonna see her cozying it up to him they're they're both about the same age um, and we will see what happens with her she is still a level one celebrity um, uh, but anyway, just just to give you an idea of how many people live in this town, check this out as soon as it zooms out. Because, you know, it could take forever. Look at how many people are in here. You will notice, though, um... When Neverglade was not populated, I had 
chastity living over here but there's a consignment shop there that I did not put there it, it was it was put there by the people that populated Neverglade and also Amelia and Anthony were living here and now the McKays live there um, story progression is great I have to tell you I have to tell you the story progression is great because they are rich now. They have a net worth of 99,000 simoleons. They live in a four bedroom house with two bathrooms. They, it's just amazing how much story progression works with these and look, there's, there's her mom. Um, she's a very talented writer. <clears throat> Excuse me. At any rate, um, I'm going to stop recording here. And I will catch up with you in episode 12. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for being so amazingly supportive. Um... As of today, which is the 30th of December, I have 42 or 43 subscribers, um, which is four times, sorry, sorry, which is four times as many subscribers as I thought that I was ever going to have. Um, so thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Um, for your subscriptions, for your support. Thank you so much for being amazing and offering your suggestions and commenting and liking videos. I really appreciate everything that you do. You have no idea what you all mean to me. I have so much more confidence in talking at all, really. Um, I, I still, I might not be the greatest YouTuber, and I might not catch all of my sniffles, I might not catch all of my coughs, and I, I might not be the best at editing right now, but you guys are showing amazing support, and I cannot tell you how blessed I feel. So, um, thank you for watching and I know that this episode is short I might even tack it on to another episode um, or something but I just wanted to catch Amelia getting abducted by an alien again even though it's not really what I was hoping to happen um, so I will see you all soon bye <laughs>